prison rules is not fun. Are you good? I don't like prison rules football. I'm fine. What do you mean keep my eye on the ball? Right, this video has been a long time coming. I just haven't had the desire to do this video during the summer. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was my Blackstone Riddle. This is a 27 inch, I believe. Um, it's a two burner. Most of the time it works pretty well for the five of us. Um, we do travel with it in our camper. So anything bigger than that would be hard to travel with. It's actually kind of a pain to travel with. But it is a game changer when you're trying to cook breakfast for five people or, or sometimes more. Um, I've done everything from your traditional um, grilling, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, to pizza, cinnamon rolls, <clears throat> um, sausage, vegetables, like you name it, eggs, everything. So I'm going to show you kind of what the issue is I'm dealing with on the plate. And then we'll talk about how we can hopefully get rid of that. Like I said, this is a two burner, 27 inch, very dirty griddle. Last time I remember really cleaning it was um, last September, 2021. So this is what I'm dealing with. Basically what all of those chunks are is I had the seasoning or the oil on too thick and it just kind of blows off some chunks as it heats up. So we're gonna try to get rid of those and, um, well, I don't know about that. So all of the grease up in the lid, um, I've cleaned it with a heavy duty cleaner in the past, but I don't have that with me today. So I might, what I have with me right now is I have oil. I'm using avocado oil. It has a high smoking temperature. You can Google that all day long, what oil is best for cast iron or for something like a blackstone. I think grapeseed oil, gets a lot of high remarks. Um, straight up lard, I think, and bacon fat, those get good remarks. Um, in my opinion, you want something with a higher smoking temperature. And this is what I have right now, and that's, it'll work fine, I'm sure. Um, the other thing I have is the cleaning kit that I picked up at Walmart. It has a griddle scraper, which could be used on, you know, the daily when you're actually cooking on it, just to scrape up any burnt food or anything that did happen to stick on the flat top. Um, the scouring pad to probably that's more like to get you know some of the sauces off than any of the stuff that just needs a freshening right but today we're going to use the what's called the the brick the cleaning brick because i really need to it's like a pumice stone i really need to get some of that thicker seasoning off but we're going to try this today first step is to turn it on and then it's a 20 minute um heat up and then we will get started So, you want to do this for me? No, I really don't. But this is not his cup of tea. No. Not not the cooking. Not the I cleaning. am not. He just moves it around for yeah. me. I am not the barbecue person. I am not the cooking person. I know a lot of guys are into that stuff. That is not my thing. But this is her thing. And I, I actually really like this thing because some of the stuff that she does on this thing is absolutely incredible. And, uh, what is the one thing that you never thought I could make on it that we managed to make? Uh, pizza. Pizza. Pizza and biscuits. I, I was impressed. As some of you might know, some of you who just joined us. Um, if you go back to our earlier videos, like all yeah, the way back, uh, I mean, we traveled for many months. Yeah. And uh, she got really good at this thing. Uh, we got really creative on the ways we cooked so the trailer didn't get super hot. And uh, she tried all kinds of stuff on this thing. And it's, it was impressive. So, um, it has been used and abused, and she does a good job of taking care of it. And, uh, in fact, it, most of the times right now sits on our back patio with the cover over it unless we're using it. But this thing is, is pretty, pretty incredible. I, I would say uh, I thought it was a little gimmicky at first, 
it, it was like, he's like, that's what you want to do. And I had to figure out how to get it home from the store because that's how much he was like not on board. But I think he's on board now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I thought it was pretty gimmicky at first, but uh, uh, yeah, I am a, I am a true believer in this thing. I think it is uh, probably, in my opinion, one of the most universal um, outdoor cooking um, utensils there is. You know, you the there's, barbecue, the barbecues, and you know the Traegers and all that mm -hmm. stuff. They're cool in their own right, but, but, you're, but you're not, but you're not going to cook eggs on it, no. you know. So, you know, she's made everything from breakfast burritos to fried pizza, rice, pizza. To, yeah, fried rice, hamburgers, <clears throat> steak, cinnamon you rolls. You name it. So, I am getting ready to shoot another video about my truck, so I'm going to go. But uh, enjoy the content, and we will catch you later. <music> and it looks a lot better but there's still residue on there that's fine um basically i'm following the directions that came with the cleaning supplies so three to four tablespoons of oil again i'm using avocado oil and measuring my heart that was probably too much okay this is phase one we're gonna take the um cleaning stone what the yeah cleaning brick which i think is basically like a pumice stone circular motions across the whole griddle if you've done this before and you had better results with something else, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Alright, so I've done the oil and scraping and all of this once and I'm wiping it down. You see lots of um, residue, I guess, is coming off. I'm struggling with the sides a little bit, so I have to work with that. The brick really doesn't fit into the corners. doesn't get all the way in there because of the handle. So I might have to take it out. And then also getting up on the sides, which is also important because that's worn basically the same as the bottom is. So we'll work on that part, but we're going to add three or four tablespoons of oil and do this all over again. So we're camping. This is our tree part. Let's give you a tour. Come on here. This is our door. This is our main living space. Hello. And that's his bed. Hello, friend. How you doing? What you doing up there? Climbing. All right, this is try number three, and I did take the brick out of the little handle, and it's gross, it's dirty, but it gets right up into the corners. Okay, so I think I have done the oil and the brick like three or four times, but as you can see, the paper towels are just coming off like disgusting and black and I'm guessing they're also kind of shedding on the cooktop. So I think I might redo this with a rag if I were to maybe recommend not using paper towels but have like old, old towels or rags, something that's not going to leave lint all over the place. But if you come in here, you can see that it is um, I think it's a lot better. There's still definitely some pock marks, but um, I will season it up and try it out. We're going to make tortillas tonight on the black top um, with or without gnats and mosquitoes. Um, but basically, 
if I were to do this, and I'd recommend that you, if you're using it a lot, to go through this process more than once a year. As I said earlier, last time I did this was last September. So it's been a full year of using it many, many times a week um, and get a towel. And also I think solid fats might work better. I don't know, I don't know if that's a thing, but I might try that. But check it out, let me know if you think it looks different, I think it looks better. But I need to get on to dinner before it gets dark. So we will catch you um, in another video with some more tips and tricks on how I take care of or cook on my Blackstone. Thank mm -hmm. you.